Oh god. Creepy book with a face on it. You think it's a human face? Somebody tore it off of somebody? Just somebody's Dungeons and Dragons master book. Hmm. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And we got a fun one tonight. One of my all-time favorite horror films and franchise, The Evil Dead. Haven't we watched this before? No. It's not the one in the mall? No, that's Dawn of the Dead. This What's is The, the Evil Dead. You'll see the difference once we jump into it. Oh, great. This is directed by Sam Raimi, who you might know from the Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man movies. This is kind of the film that's skyrocketed his career. So Cool. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And Bruce Campbell is the star of it. Ash. Yeah, Ash, you've seen me watch Ash versus Ash the Evil, Evil Dead. Dead yeah, like, he's got like know. a saw as a hand or something. Something like right? that, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I just know for And Bruce Campbell was also in Escape from LA as the guy with the face, facial implants, right? Doing all the implant work. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. He's got a very distinctive chin. Yes, and voice, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like him, though. He's funny, usually. Mm-hmm. He's a pretty good. Uh... He brings levity to most things that he's in. Exactly. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and check it out? I guess. Let's do it. But first, this video is brought to you by The Coldest Water, thecoldestwater.com. Go check it out. Use code YMTM. Get 10% off your order. Go grab yourself a mug, a bottle, a koozie, whatever you like to keep your drinks cold at thecoldestwater.com. Use code YMTM for 10% off. There you go. Also, like, comment, and subscribe because we're going to watch the whole Evil Dead trilogy. And eventually, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the recent TV show, which is Sweet. a lot of fun. So. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. We also have the social meds, so Twitter and Instagram, if you're into it, you can follow us at you, me, the movies. Mm-hmm. On both platforms. That's right. Let's watch The Evil Dead. Makes me want to vomit. You've been gone six months and I got the fear after all the songs that we've sung together after all the <laughs> Sweet voice of an angel. <laughs> if I knew where you were, well, I would surely inform you that. <laughs> but every night, don't you sleep? <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, uh, Ash, where are we? Well, we just crossed the Tennessee border. In the swamp? Which would put a... at you that's creepy well the guy that's renting it says it's an old place a little run down but it's right up in the mountains well this feels like a jason movie doesn't it <laughs> well it might not be that bad no actually it might be kind of nice yeah <laughs> yeah Christ, the whole thing's falling apart on us. Don't let the noise fool you, girls. This thing is solid as a rock. <laughs> Great, now you just have to get back over it. <laughs> Taking the road less traveled, huh? It's not even a dirt road, it's just a grass road, like a weeds road. Is that the house or the car? Oh. God, that's annoying. These suckers are really moving. It doesn't look like there's even a lick of wind out there. Anyone home? (laughs) 
Somebody was just swinging on it the wrong direction. And then they're like, whoa, what are they doing in my house? I love how they're all like, let's let him go first. <laughs> we'll keep a safe distance back here. Seems okay. This seems a little less okay. <laughs> well, you don't like bones hanging from the ceiling? Not when they're, like, intentionally hanging... weirdly. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Join us. Uh oh. It's a book. Book with a face on it. Super. Probably just the wind. Hmm. She making uh, daiquiris? As a Greek friend of mine once said, uh, he said... Is that a giant bottle of ketchup in the middle of the table? Mm-hmm. Oh. I would not go down there if I were you. Whatever it is, it's still down there. I don't like sellers. Oh dear. An animal. An animal. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Christ. Somebody's not trying to get laid tonight, huh? Here, sure. Why don't you go down and check, make sure? Scotty, I'm not going down there. Did you go down there? No. No way. Mm -mm. Would you? No, I'd send you down. That's right. That's what happens with our cellar. Right? Who's the one that has to change all the air filters? He's afraid of spiders. Have you seen the spiders in our cellar? <laughs> hey, hey, Scotty, you find anything? I don't know. Is it like a portal to hell or something? Scott! Watch your face, dude. Oh, good. Yeah, go after it. Well, girls, now you're all alone. Nice hot water heater. Where did he go? Slimy water. Really building the anticipation here. Hey, come here, I want to show you something. What a dickhead. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, super butthole material right there. I bet this still shoots. Probably does. What the... F <laughs> what is this kid's deal? Oh, God. Creepy book with a face on it. You think it's a human face? Somebody tore it off of somebody? Just somebody's Dungeons and Dragons master book. Hmm. Right? Does that dagger look familiar? No. Is it supposed to? It's what they killed Jason with and Jason goes to hell. In the house. Mm hmm. Remember, the, he just gets pulled into the ground after that. I don't remember that knife at all, but. I believe I have made a significant find in the Kandarian runes a volume of ancient Sumerian burial practices and funerary incantations. It is entitled 
Naturan de Manto, roughly translated, Book of the Dead. The book is bound in human flesh and inked in human blood. It is through recitation of these passages that the demons are given license to. Oh, in this butthole, he's gonna read the incantations and bring them all to life, right? Like, he is such a butthole, I just see it happening. <laughs> Oh no. He didn't even have to read it. Shut it off. I mean, come on, you knew it was upsetting, and you just don't know when you're taking something too far. Yeah, butthead. Think that woke something up? No. No. Ground turns red and explodes, no problem. <laughs> I love that they're both wearing corduroy pants. I love a corduroy pant. You do? Yeah. I'll have to get some then. Things got so hectic. This is really the first chance we've had to be alone. Does she have bad eyesight or something? <laughs> it's, it's just like a magnifying glass monocle. Isn't it? Oh, it's a necklace. With a magnifying glass on the on the end. Welcome on back to You Mean the Boobies. There must always be at least one booby present during a scary movie. Don't join them. Don't do it. It's a big moon. Mm-hmm. This movie just really is slow. We better grab our weed whack whacker. Just trying to get her naked. Oh. Oh, I thought that was her skin. <laughs> oh my god. What the? Oh god, please don't. What is happening here? Did she just get by a tree limb? She was way out there. Why? I mean, that house is not very large. Why is somebody not opening the damn door? What the? F what? What is happening? No! I want to get out of here. I want to leave this place right now. Hey, hey you can stay somewhere in town tonight. I know it's not going to start. It's not going to let us leave. <laughs> Started. And they were never seen alive again. Wait here a minute. I guess the bridge is gone. Do you see something? Why is he walking sideways? That sucks for them. How are they gonna get out of there in the morning? They're not. Oh, no, 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 wait. Um, hearts. Oh my god, seven of hearts, you're right. Hey, Ash, I guessed the card right. <laughs> yeah, truly amazing. <laughs> Four of hearts. Eight of spades. 
to spades, jack of diamonds, jack of clubs. Why have you disturbed our sleep? You will die like the others before you. One by one, we will take you. Great. One too many daiquiris. Oh, look at those hands. (sighs) Sweet practical effects. Glad we had that chain handy, huh? Yeah, good thing. For God's sake, what happened to her eyes? What happened to her eyes? You don't hustle or anything. Doesn't seem worried at all. Why is he so calm about it? His girlfriend screams. He walks slowly into the room, has almost no expression. Maybe he's in shock. Shelly? Another basement entrance? She turned quickly. I run out of bookshelves pretty quick. Milk was a bad choice. Hmm. She dead? Yeah. No. Knows the continuity error there. He chopped off her hand again. Yeah. Her hand was already chopped she off. She was reaching up with the whole arm. Mm-hmm. Now, can she put herself back together? Might as well take care of the crazy one in the cellar while you're at it. Make quick work of that. Yeah. Everything else goes in slow motion, but they dig a hole and bury somebody. Lickety split. I think what's it like? I'm getting out of here. Scott, we can't take Linda anywhere with a leg like that. We Linda don't... cannot walk with a leg like that. She can't even stand up. I'm getting the hell out of here right now. Chivalry dies when you have to chop your girlfriend in pieces. Scott, wait up! <laughs> you gotta take the weapon with you. Oh, Help me! Oh, it's too late for you, buddy. Oh, Scotty, 
Cheryl was right. Oh, we're all gonna die here. No, we're not gonna die. No, you're definitely gonna die here. Ash might not, but he's definitely gonna die here. Snake, is there a way around the bridge? There's a way. The trail. <laughs> <laughs> Killer, kill her if you can. Never <laughs> WTF? Oh, Ash, please don't let them take me away again. Please. No, I, I won't. <laughs> I won't, I promise. Ashley, I'm all right. Unlock this chain and let me out. So you're saying Shirley had to die for nothing? They didn't have to chop her up in little pieces? Oh, it's his sister? Oh, that sucks. Why are you torturing me like this? Why? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so glad we're watching this right before bed. This is a great idea. Sun will be up in an hour or so, and we can all get out of here together. You, me, <laughs> Linda, Shelley. Uh, no, no. Longest night of their lives. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We know from Shelly that doesn't necessarily mean they're dead, though. Because mm -hmm. Shelly came back raring to go. Whoever they're renting this house from is going to be pissed. Right? I'm never going to get the blood stains out of those hardwood floors. She's just gonna come back to life, right? Or back to evil? <laughs> evil dead? Undead? He's really fast hole digger. Mm hmm. They actually buried a, ca a cameraman for this shot. Yeah. <laughs> What a sacrifice. He's still under there. To the I know. What, what a guy sacrificed his life for this movie. Oh, ouch. This is the dumb and happy demon, right? Just dumb and happy. <laughs> oh, blech. Uh-oh. Where'd she go? Mm, 
risky. Would you go down there for some shells? Maybe. House is bleeding. He's getting hit with lots of blood and yet no blood on his face. Oh, a little bit there, okay. I get out of the cellar. Oh no. He doesn't have to start the night all over again, does he? When is this damn sun gonna come up? Maybe she was like a fan of burning ants or something. I don't know. That's why he gave her a magnifying glass. She always has one handy in case she found an anthill. Exactly. It's her passion. Leaking now. Yeah, but he still has to dismember him. Right? Coming back to life? No. No. The exact opposite. Yeah. You can clean his ears very well. Ugh, oatmeal. What the hell do you do about that? Oh, good. Next time, close your mouth. I'd rather not. <laughs> He's like, screw you, dude. Did he win? I think so. I mean, if winning means all of your friends died and you survived... Their demon attacks. And he's never getting his security deposit back, that's for sure. Not a chance. They should really just burn this cabin. Funny you say that, because it did burn down after they shot this film. There's the sun. Finally. Yeah, definitely close the door. That'll help. He wasn't born in a barn. How do you explain this to the real world? They're all going to think you just axe murdered all of your friends. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, I know he comes back for more, so I don't think he dies right there, but give the guy a break. Yeah, give Ash a break. That was a long night for him. Sure was. All right, that was The Evil Dead, 1981. Okay. What'd you think? None of the jump scares made me jump. Yeah? I'm not sure what that says about it. You desensitized jump scares? I don't think so, because I could 
I got jump scared and scream like last week. Yeah. So I just don't know what it was about this one. It just didn't didn't scare me. Those jump chairs don't always get you. Um, that's so gross. I mean, the practical effects were crazy. Mm-hmm. Like that makeup team must have been working overtime. Busy. Yeah. If you notice, there was a bunch of different actors playing. Yeah. Like his sister and girlfriend and stuff, and Sam's brother Ted played a lot of the monsters in makeup and stuff so cool but yeah they had a lot of fun with the uh, practical makeup mm-hmm. uh, little stop anim- motion animation there at the end with the yep was it scary were you scared more just like what the hell yeah. I'm not really scared just like why <laughs> why what why why yeah, yeah. The, get to watch three more of these yeah, the screen premiere of ash one of the greatest heroes of cinema mm. And uh, you'll see his character development over the next couple of movies. So. Can't wait. This one was kind of torturous. Yes. Yeah. But uh, the good news is, is this was kind of straight horror. Evil Dead 2 throws in more levity. Okay. So, and then Army of Darkness, Evil Dead 3, is even more levity. So. As they usually do, right? Yeah. But uh, I think you'll like the later chapters better than the first one. I'll take your word for it. The first one's fun because it's low budget. And it's fun to see them, what they used for practical effects. Mm -hmm. And also, Raimi used a lot of new, unique shots and ways to shoot a scene in this movie. Yeah, lots of different angles. A lot of people and himself copied in future films and stuff. So Cool. What was the best kill? Like, they each were killed four times or more. (laughs) So I don't even know which. I can't even remember. I actually think Scott had the best kill with chopping up his girlfriend. Okay. Parts hopping on the ground there. Yeah. Best effects. So I don't know. That's my opinion, though. It's a great opinion. Yeah. What, what about you guys? What do you What do you think is the best kill? Yeah. What's your favorite kill effect in the Evil Dead? Right. Yeah. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for the next three. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls, help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.